I've been thinking about this all morning, and what if it had gone like this instead? Raffi and Seven are on the bus, and I'm sorry, I know that people are talking about something else this morning, but I'm still stuck on that bullshit, lazy fan service gag from episode four of Star Trek Picard. And just, I'll make this quick, I promise. Please just hear me out. What if Raffi and Seven are on the bus, and instead of what they actually did in the episode, which is have the same fucking punk guy from Star Trek IV just happen to be sitting there playing almost the exact same song with the, the exact same hairdo, the exact same boombox and everything, the laziest possible joke you can imagine... Literally, the joke is, hey, remember this from that other thing? Here it is again. What if instead of that, Seven and Raffi are on the bus, someone sitting across from them is listening to music on their phone, they have their earbuds in, but the earbuds, the, they're, they're corded earbuds, and the jack isn't plugged in all the way, so the phone is actually playing the music through the speaker, not through the earbuds, and everybody on the bus can hear it. And Raffi is getting annoyed, because Raffi is the more overzealous, hot-headed one in this season so far. And she's about to lean over and do something to this person listening to the, to the music, right? She's about to take a hold of him or slap him or do something. And Seven, the more calm, cool, and collected one, usually, until they forget about that for a random scene, Seven kind of puts puts the arm on Raffi and says, let me take care of this. And she just leans forward, maybe touches the person listening to music on the knee and lets them know about the situation. And the person listening to the music is like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that the jack wasn't plugged in all the way. I thought it sounded a little funny. And plugs it in, fixes the situation, goes back to listening to their music. Raffi and Seven sit back in their seats. There's kind of a, 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 a moment of silence between them. And then Seven turns to Raffi and says, pretty sure killing that guy would have been a butterfly. Right? Or something to that effect. They're saying they're using butterfly as the, the sort of uh, term du jour for unwanted timeline changes. So there you go. It is evocative of the bit from Star Trek IV. It carries echoes of that, but it's not literally the same bit with the same fucking guy it doing the exact same thing for no reason. It's, it's a similar situation, but it's different, and this time the joke is centered on the characters that we actually are supposed to care about and follow in the show, not the drop-in fan service cameo. Who gives a fuck about the punk from Star Trek IV? He's not a part of this. We're supposed to care about Raffi and Seven, and my version, it puts it on Raffi and Seven. It's a nice, funny little moment. It plays off of their characters that have been established in the series, right? And I'm not even that good of a writer, you all. I guarantee you everybody who writes for Star Trek Picard is a way better writer than me, with the probable exception of Akiva Goldsman. They are all such great writers and experienced TV writers, and I know any one of them could have done better than that joke. And I bet a bunch of you could do better than that joke or could do better than the rewrite I came up with. I wrote that shit in the shower this morning, and it's better than what made it on fucking TV. Come on, it just, it's such a bad, lazy fan service joke. And it's just the, the worst kind of pandering non humor reference instead of wit. I despise it and it just sticks in my craw. So if any of you have better ideas than the one I just pitched, please leave them in the comments. I would love to hear. I bet a bunch of you could come up with even better gags than the one I wrote in the shower this morning. So anyway, that's all. I just wanted to get that off my chest and share that with you. Congratulations, Will Smith. See you next time.